Buongiorno, welcome back to my channel. Today is a massive declutter. I have here more than 50 fragrances. So I am in the mid of comarying my house. Um, I mean, uh, I am applying the comari method in decluttering the stuff around my house. And yesterday was fragrance day and I got, as I, as I said, rid of 50 fragrances. Big disclaimer, I did not really apply the comari method on my fragrances. So if you are interested in seeing my fragrance collection or seeing me comarying my fragrances, I did also that. So I will leave a link in the description down below these uh, videos. So first I did like a comari to my fragrances and I showed you the fragrances that I kept if I would to apply that method. And then I did another declutter where I ended up with these. So in order for this video not to be too long, I'm just going to go through these fragrances very, very, very quickly, just saying why I decluttered them. So let's start by two Kayalis. I have here Sweet Diamond and Invite Only. So for now, I have only the vanilla one in my collection, mainly for layering. Sweet Diamond was never a favorite of mine. Um, I blind bought it and I never liked it actually. So I am getting rid of this one. Kali Invite Only actually I like and it's one of these fragrances that I have a love-hate relationship with it and it also smells strangely different every time I wear it. It's a very sexy fragrance uh, but you know I don't love it enough to keep it in my collection and also I have in this category uh, more fragrances that I prefer to Kayali Invite Only but it's not a bad fragrance by any way. And I actually would recommend you check it if you love sexy oriental and you are okay with Cipriol. Then I am getting rid of my two uh, Mandarina Duck fragrances. Uh, let's travel to New York and let's travel to Miami. This is more citrusy and this is more fruity. Actually, both of them are quite nice, a very fresh, uplifting fragrances. However, the performance is a big issue, like a huge issue with these fragrances. To the point that I don't even wear them after the shower, which says a lot. The next two are going to be a shock, or at least one of them will be a shock. I am decluttering two of the Nomad line. I'm decluttering the Absolu, and I don't know. <laughs> I really like this fragrance, actually, but I don't wear it enough. And for me, it has a very limited time where I wear it or associate it with, so during autumn. So I don't know, uh, I kept the Eau de Toilette and the Eau de Parfum. Uh, the Eau de Parfum is more versatile, so I can wear it all year round. And I have such a big collection of fragrances, and although I love it, uh, I prefer that this one would go to someone who really appreciates it and wear it all the time. This is the new one, the Nomad uh, Eau, Parf Eau de Parfum Naturel. This one I don't like. It's not that it's a bad fragrance, it's not if you are um, loving this beachy coconut, you know, terracotta vibe. Uh, I think you would love this one. I hate these kind of fragrances and this is even an amped up version of these fragrances, so it's going. I have a, actually a review of the whole Nomad line, you can check it. Uh, I will leave it in the description down below. Then we have two Narciso. This one is not shocking because I have the original one. This is the Uno de Neroli Ambre. I have the original Ambre and I prefer to this one. I mainly kept this one for layering purposes and they are too similar to keep both of them. So this one is going. This was quite shocking, the Pure Musk. And I am decluttering this one because I don't use it anymore since I have first Noir Mask and then Noir Mask Rose now. I never wear this one anymore. I'm not that it's bad, but I prefer the Noir Mask Post Flankers much more to this one. Also, I prefer from this one the Absolu, which I found in Egypt. So I may buy the Absolu uh, when I travel to Egypt next time. I have two Trussardis and one of them is quite new. So I have uh, Sound of Donna and Trussardi Donna. This one is it's a very beautiful gourmand with whipped cream and chestnut. 
I like it, but it has some sharpness, screechiness in the background, which is quite common in designer fragrances, at least to my nose. So yeah, although I like it, I don't wear it, so it's going to be decluttered. This one is a favorite of a lot of people. It's a signature work scent that smells elegant, clean. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it, but I don't know. I just don't like it. So not that I, I don't hate it, but I don't like it enough to keep it in my collection. But also it's a fragrance that I would recommend if you are looking for an office scent, a signature worthy scent. Uh, this one is quite nice. Another shocker, I decided to get rid of both Lanterdi. Both are very recent purchases. So this is the new version uh, from Lanterdi that came out a few months ago. I did a review on it. This is Lanterdi Nocturnal Jasmine. It's the vetiver patchouli base of Lanterdi with a big hefty dose of jasmine. And I am decluttering the Nocturnal Jasmine because I have a huge collection of jasmine fragrances. It's one of my favorite notes. And you know, when you are decluttering, you see everything together as a big picture. This one, I don't know, doesn't stand out. So I am getting rid of it. This one I have kind of a love-hate relationship with. Sometimes I like it. Actually, I love it. And sometimes it's too much for me. Uh, it is tuberose, uh, orange blossom and jasmine, mainly tuberose. And tuberose is a flower that I struggle a little bit with. Uh, I bought this one in a set, so they had this one and a small travel size. So I am keeping the travel size because, as I said, I like the scent. And so in the times when I am really in love with the fragrance, I will wear it, but I don't need, like, this is a 50 ml, so I definitely don't need it. And next, I am getting rid of a lot of Chanel fragrances. I have four actually, quite shocking. The first one may not shock my old subscribers. This is Chanel Gardenia. I bought this one when I turned 40 and it was like my birthday gift. I don't like this fragrance. I love Gardenia, but it's too green for me. Not green, it's too indolic and has a slight green touch. I definitely prefer the oil version, like the Parfum version. So I kept that one in my last declutter, hoping that with time I will like it, but no. I'm also getting rid of Coco Mademoiselle. This was a gift of my husband, actually. And I mainly kept it for that. I don't like the smell of Coco uh, Mademoiselle. And I don't think that my husband will mind or even notice, actually. So next one is Chanel number no. five. I actually kept this one for sentimental, not, not sentimental reasons, but for the wrong reasons. I kept it because it's the iconic number no. five and I don't like Chanel number no. five. <laughs> so yeah, this is going. The next one is Coco Noir. I actually really like this one, but since I got myself the Coco Eau de Parfum, and discovered that it is quite similar to the vintage version in the very, very dry down. Yeah, I don't need that anymore. So Coco Noir is going. It's a beautiful, sexy fragrance that I, again, recommend, but just not for me. Next we have, oh, I forgot also from Givenchy, I have another fragrance. This is Live Irresistible Blossom Crush. Nice fragrance, but not groundbreaking, very generic. It's cheap, but yeah, it doesn't stand out with all the rose peony fragrances that I have in my collection. I have some Zara fragrances. So the first one is Cerise Peonies. I got this one last year and it's a nice peony, raspberry, watery fragrance. Uh, but yeah, again, I have so many peony fragrances. This one doesn't stand out. I have two travel size of Zara Gardenia and Zara Women Gold. Nice fragrances, but yeah, I don't reach for. Since we have travel size, let's go through this one. Atelier Colon Lemon Island, a blind buy and um, not a successful one. 
yeah i don't like this fringe i know it's a favorite of a lot of people but it's too gourmand for my liking it's more of a lemon i don't know imagine coconut with lemon so no it's i don't like coconut and fragrances dolce and gabbana is the one i never bought this one actually to wear i bought it for um a comparison video between the original one and the new gold I will leave that video down below uh, in the description if you want to watch a uh, full review of that fragrance. The gold one I absolutely love. The original one, no. I remembered it to be when it was first released quite a beautiful fragrance, but I think they reformulated it uh, because the ones that we have now I don't like at all. Big, big, big fail. <laughs> Three uh, blind buys uh, of the replica line coffee break, matcha meditation, and bubble bath. Don't like any of these. Coffee break um, is the only one that I would say I would recommend if you love fragrances like um, how it's called uh, Yves Saint Laurent uh, Black Op Opium. Um, yeah. Uh, I think you would like this one. Not that they are similar, but I think the people who love this fragrance will also love this one. It's coffee, has lavender, so it's a, an interesting mix, but not for me. Uh, matcha meditation, for the same reason I'm decluttering Lemon Island. It's This is a really gourmand tea. Um, so, yeah, not a fresh tea fragrance, so I'm not liking it. Bubble bath is nice on paper on skin it smells like cheap soap so not keeping it and i wouldn't recommend it next is l'ombre de merveille from hermes nothing wrong again with this one but very very bad performance and i don't love it enough to keep it even with the bad performance i have no issue with bad performing fragrances if i really really like them and i don't like it enough of course again another blind buy <laughs> that was a big fail is a mont blanc signature a very hyped up fragrance and it's a nice fragrance it's a little bit too lactonic for my liking uh, so it turns a little bit sour on my skin. I did a comparison between this one and the mask therapy from Emisiu. So if you want to know more details about this one or mask therapy or how they compare, again, I will leave it a link in the description down below. I just can't handle this fragrance on my skin. Next, I have two Roberto Cavallis. I am decluttering um, the original one and the flanker Nero Assoluto. This one is discontinued. And I actually recommend both of them for those who are looking for a very affordable but yet expensive smelling fragrances. The Berto Cavalli, you are really getting good fragrances for how much you pay. Never pay full price for Roberto Cavalli. They always go on sale and it's almost 50% off. Nero Assoluto is definitely an interesting fragrance. And I like it. Now I am smelling it and I'm I really like it, but I never, never wear it. So I even focused on it last year, uh, so like to test it, to wear it, and I never gravitate to it. I always like sprayed it out of obligation because I said I wanted to give it a chance. Beautiful fragrance, as I said, but both of them are very beautiful fragrances, but yeah. Not for me. I am also decluttering the new Gucci Guilty uh, Intense Parfum. Blind buys that I bought for a review. And it, this is a fragrance I don't know if I should love or hate. People compare it to Black Orchid from Tom Ford. And I don't agree. I get it when I smell it from the cap. I get this Black Orchid vi uh, vibe minus uh, the truffle note like this. I hate that note in Black Orchid actually. So it's floral, it's plum, it's very intense. So the name suits the fragrance, definitely. Great performance, but yeah, it's not my vibe again. I did a review on it. Uh, you will find it in the description down below. Also, I am decluttering my only two Yves Saint Laurent fragrance. So it seems like Yves Saint Laurent is not my vibe when it comes to fragrances. The first one is Cinema, a fragrance that is 
rumored to be discontinued I still can find it everywhere online as that says and it's a beautiful uh, citrusy warm floral vanilla very unique very signature worthy um, an everyday scent um, you can wear it to the office it's a beautiful fragrance but again not my vibe so I have a friend that loves this fragrance so I will give it to her the next one is Yves Saint Laurent this is the flanker I don't remember how it's called the Eau de Toilette yeah this is the Eau de Toilette that came out last year I would say this is the most wearable Libre from all of the three but still I don't wear it so I think Libre is not for me like the DNA of Libre it's just not for me Next, we have some fragrances from Derlin. The first one is Aqua Ligoria Passiflora, one of my first fragrances that I featured on my channel. Loves the scent, it's very happy. It's fruity, it's passion fruit. I love it, but I don't wear it. It's one of these scents that you love to smell out of the cap but not to wear it on yourself. So it went through my last declutter and I thought maybe I would use it like, a, I don't know, an air freshener or something. But then I thought it's like, it's a waste to spray a fragrance that is not exactly very cheap as an air freshener or as a, I don't know, bed uh, to spray on your bed or something during the summer. So I am going to declutter it, but the scent itself I really, really like. It's just not something that I would wear. The next one is Guerlain La Petite Robe Noire Eau de Toilette. A blind buy. Uh, a very unsuccessful one. I don't like this fragrance. Um, and it doesn't scream like Guerlain. Guerlain has this vibe to it. I don't know. Next is the brand new Terracotta from Guerlain. I am decluttering this one because I never liked it. I actually bought this one just to do a review, um, actually a comparison between Terracotta and Nomad Naturals, I mean um, Nomad from Chloe. So now that I have my review, I don't need it anymore. You will find that review in the description down below, as I said. Another very new fragrance is uh, La, La Nuit Tresor Intense. I love the bottle, but not so much the scent. I definitely prefer Anna Folie to this one. And it's a pity because it's this is the most beautiful bottle out of all the blankers. But yeah, it's I am done with keeping fragrances just like for aesthetic reasons. Also, this one is going uh, um, Versace Lillen Blue, a fruity fragrance that, I don't know, it's a little bit shampoo-y. I don't like this one. Uh, very hyped up by Jeremy Fragrances, I think. Yeah, I like the bottle, but I don't like the scent so much. So that is going. Next, also a very, very recent purchase, uh, Bizons from Rocha. Bought this one for nostalgic reasons. And yeah, it's one of my, it was one of my first fragrances. Uh, in my collection when I was still I think teenager I think I was in high school so they reformulated it and it doesn't even resemble the what I remember from the original one it's okay an okay fragrance also the bottle is again very very beautiful but the scent itself not for me <laughs> this one I also decluttered last year and still I kept it and I said to myself I will keep it uh, as an after shower, you know, fresh fragrance or like to put it in my bag because it's small. Not for me. Too synthetic. The Omnia line in general is just too much money for what it is. Next is Killian Princess. Never really fell in love with this fragrance. I kept it because I know it is discontinued. So it's not a reason to keep a fragrance. So I am decluttering it. Next we have Elisa Le Parfum. I don't know why I bought this fragrance and I know that I don't like orange blossom. It's an orange blossom honey fragrance and it's beautiful actually. Objectively it's 
one of the best designer fragrances. Very classy, elegant, but not for me. I don't like orange blossom, so I can't. Also this one I decluttered last year and still I kept it for the same reasons I kept uh, the Bulgari one. Ah, I, I didn't tell you when I showed you the bottle that was Bulgari Coral, by the way. If I have to choose one fragrance from uh, like the Omnia line, this is the best one, but still, no. I actually like this one. Although it's cheap and it smells cheap, <laughs> let's be honest. But there is something about it. But I definitely prefer the original one, the Bright Crystal, the original, not the Absolute. This is too sweet. Mm. Let's put it like that. It's not too sweet. It's too synthetic combined with sweet. <laughs> so both of them don't work out for me. I am also decluttering uh, Lalique Amethyst, a perfect dupe for Pachon um, uh, de Meliora. I have a comparison video. Again, you will find it in the description. This is a very feminine beautiful fragrance but I don't like it enough to keep it. Next is Elizabeth Arden um, Green Tea Pomegranate. As you can see it's totally full because I don't like it. I discovered that I hate pomegranate in fragrances so this one is going. I prefer the tropical one which I still have in my collection and I absolutely love that one for winter time. Uh, sorry for summer time <laughs> for winter time. Anyway Next is Lalique Illusion Captive from their private collection. It's a beautiful scent. Beautiful. If you love patchouli, fresh orientals. I am not sure if I am totally decluttering it uh, in the sense that I will let my husband smell it. Because to me, it is unisex, but it's too on the masculine side in my opinion. So love the bottle love also the presentation of the lalique private line but it's not really easy to keep a full dance another one that i decluttered last year <laughs> and then kept it for the usual reasons uh this is michael kors sparkling blush too expensive what it is the scent is beautiful i love the scent really i really love the scent but it's so light and so bad in performance, it's like, it's a shame. You can't ask so much money for this performance. Um, so it doesn't last at all on my skin, so I don't get it much, so I'm decluttering it. Next is, again, another one that I decluttered last year, uh, Zen's the Shadow. Yeah. It went in my bathroom and I never used it like all of the others that I mentioned. Next is um, Calvin Klein Into You. A very unique fresh fragrance, but that I don't wear. So, although I like it, yeah, it's a very unique, quite particular fragrance. I think there was cactus in the note or something like that. But yeah, I don't wear it, so it's going. Next is Hugo Boss uh, Deep Red, another one that I bought for sentimental reasons. It's a fragrance that when it came out, I was totally in love with it. Yeah, but it has nothing to do with like the original one. It's 3-4 related again, so this is going. Also bad performance, by the way. I'm also getting rid of uh, J'adore Infinissime. The latest from the Jador line. Very beautiful fragrance, actually. Again, it's tuberose, the main flower. So I would recommend this fragrance, definitely. But I don't wear it. Since I bought it, I, I think I wore it only once or twice. So it's not worth it. And last, we have my most re recent purchase, I think. Si Passione Eclat. A uh, flanker of the C Passione. Uh, I am not a fan of the C range in general. And if I have to pick one, it would definitely be the new C Intense. That one is quite, quite nice. Um, it's a little bit too sweet for my liking, but the scent is really good. It's very, very good. This one is nice. 
nothing wrong a musky rose with some black current so it doesn't stand out it's not groundbreaking so and the cluttering also this one i have a review on it you will find it in the description down below again so these were all the fragrances that i decluttered the 51 fragrances as i said in my previous video when i went and showed you how i declutter my fragrances uh, I actually am keeping some that I want to declutter in my collection for uh, reviews or, or comparisons uh, that still I didn't film. So these will also be, will be decluttered very, very soon. And that means that maybe in, a, in two months uh, you will find a new declutter. Again, if you are interested in seeing my collection or my top 14 fragrances in my collection, so the ones that I selected after like applying the Kumari method, check my videos you will find them in the description down below every time i do a declutter i actually learn a lot uh, so don't keep a fragrance because you love the bottle don't keep a fragrance because it has sentimental values for any reason and you don't wear it and also don't keep a fragrance that is redundant in your collection and of course the main criteria in decluttering is do you wear the fragrance and do you like it so that was it uh, i hope you liked this video and you found it helpful and if you did please give it a thumb up and consider subscribing to my channel also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will get notified when i upload a new video i have quite exciting videos coming very soon so don't forget to hit that bell thanks a lot for watching and see you next time ciao